Boy 3 and our lips are sealed. I'm Chris Hawkins, this is BBC Six Music. And this morning we welcome the killers Ronnie Venucci to the show. Morning, Ronnie. Good morning, sir. So you're here in the UK at the moment with yes. the killers, as well as your own band Big Talk. Brandon released his solo record earlier this year, and so now it's your turn, right? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about Big Talk. When did it all start? Oh, man, I've always kind of, you know, tinkered around written songs and uh, kind of left them open on purpose so that the holes could be filled by uh, you know with collaborating with my other bandmates and stuff like that we decided we want to take a little time off and about two three weeks went by and I just couldn't do it I had to keep going and I decided to you know hey you know uh, let's see where this goes let's see how far I can take this see if I can make a real song and for the new record, you teamed up with old friends and some big names as well, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Alan Mulder, old yeah. friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, man, uh, want to hear these demos I got going on? He goes, uh, new killer songs. He says, nope. Uh, new drummer songs. You want to check them out? And he said, yeah. And he called me back like uh, 15 minutes later after I'd emailed him, and he liked it. So I, I was basically, when I talked to him, I, I, you know, these things were kind of, you know, 75 percent uh there and then i uh you know i kind of got them where they needed to be and and uh and we worked out a, a schedule and came over and he mixed it simple as that yeah <laughs> that. and then you got a record if you're right yeah there you got a record how different is it to what you do with the killers um well, it's different in the way that uh i wasn't just playing drums on i played everything on it and and my friend Taylor he's a, a really good guitar player he played on it as well so he was really you know kind of an integral part of uh, kind of getting a lot of these songs off the ground and you know when I didn't think these songs were so good he was like no this is good this is really good so he's kind of a, a coach in a way and you're not just a drummer either are you no, I'm just a drummer, and I'm barely a drummer. You are much more than just a drummer, because you write the songs, you play at other yeah, instruments too, and you sing. I fake course. it. Yeah. No, but you do it all very well, don't Thanks, you? Thanks, man. No. You do, you do, and I, I think uh, that's why you've got to this point with this new record, which you've put out on your own label, haven't mm. you? Is, is that, are there plans to expand that, or is it simply to release the album? Well, having the Little Oil records <laughs> label is just a function of being able to put it out on on something and because i don't know anything about running a label i had to enlist in some help from some good friends and one of those guys helped me get creative with with putting it out there and and he happens own epitaph uh records this is a punk label in california and we just decided to to put it out see what happens you know i don't know i mean at this point i, th I think it's just just for the big talk thing. I mean, I don't, I don't see myself as being a, a dude in a suit. I actually still love music. <laughs> right, we're going to play the single in a few moments' time. Uh, first, Hard Rock Calling, what's the show going to be like? Because you haven't played together as the Killers for a couple of years now. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty damn good because uh, we feel good as a band. We've been writing a lot together and playing a lot together and, and working on new songs and bringing in ideas and jamming for six hours a day and looking at what we've done for another few hours on because we record everything so right now uh we're sharing the same brain which is like 80 percent of it you know you get four guys on stage and you haven't played in a while and it's because everybody's it sounds like crap because it's you know it's you're in different head spaces and now i think we're sharing the umbilicus a Have bit played hyde park before Oh, yeah, five part, yeah, it's old hat. Yeah. <laughs> we do that stuff all the time. You just turn up. <laughs> we did it once in, in uh, 2009, and that was that was amazing. It was beautiful, beautiful sunset. Yeah, it's a great lineup because I'm a big yeah. fan of James yeah. and the Kaiser Chiefs, too, yeah, and then you yeah. headline. Yeah, and every one of those bands that, you know, we have ties to, everybody is so nice, man. We just hung out with uh, the fellas and James and... A couple months ago in, in South America and Chile. Yes, Tim Booth told us all about your Did time he? there. Yeah, ah, he yeah. was really pleasantly surprised by the reaction to his band because he thought, we're not big in South America. And he was saying, they love music down massive. there. So I'm looking forward to hanging out with all these other bands and cool. hopefully. Well, we're looking forward to seeing tonight. Right, let's get set some big talk on then. I'm going to play the single Getaways. Do you want to set this up for us? Oh, did, did a lot of this in my basement. <laughs>
great. Hard sell. Yeah, yeah, hard sell. <laughs> the, the Hyde Park is... show, it'll be all right, but probably won't be as good as last time. Yeah. Here's my brilliant new single. Yeah. I made it in my basement. It's going to change your life. This is Big Talk, and guess away some more with Bonnie in a while. Track called Getaway, and it's Ronnie Vanucci from the Killers' debut solo single. And more with Ronnie on the show before seven o'clock this morning. He'll be picking his fantasy festival as part of our pyramid scheme this week. It's six music for Friday. Andrew Collins in for Sean Keithney this morning. <laughs> And so more now with Ronnie Vanucci playing in Hyde Park with the Killers tonight. Also set to release his debut solo album with Big Talk. Getaways is the single which we heard earlier. And for our Hawk Pyramid scheme all of this week, Ronnie, we've been putting together our own fantasy festivals. You're from Vegas, so we'll call this Vegas Fest. Vegas Fest. If that works for you, <laughs> if that's all right. And what we need, first of all, from you is something that you would sell at a festival. Now, this might be based on something you've seen being sold before that isn't sold everywhere, or it's something that you think is missing from every festival. What might that be? Oh, uh, yeah, like a like electrolyte packs or something like that. Maybe yeah, some, something yeah. useful. Yeah, something, something practical. Um, maybe uh, maybe those those the handy wipes, but the really good ones. Good idea. You know, yeah. it's something to keep sanitary. You know, to keep people healthy. With big talk branding. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah? Mm hmm. We'll do yeah. that. And for your support band, who will that be? Oh, a support band. C could there be two support bands? Go on then. Okay. As it's you. One would be, uh, first First band would be Big Star. And then, uh, and then the next band might be uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Okay. Big fans of both, obviously. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait. Uh, and Joe Jackson would also support. All right. It's a yeah. full lineup then, basically, you're doing for it. Yeah, people are going to freak out. <laughs> people will die. Have you ever worked with any of those? No. I wish I could have worked on some level, brought Alex Chilton coffee or something. <laughs> yeah. There's still a couple of them still around. Um, wait, is it too late to add another support act? No, I'm it's never thinking, too late. Okay, the replacements, too. Speaking of Alex Chilton, they have a great song called Alex Chilton. Good call. Cool. All right. So the replacements, yeah. So that's the lineup so mm. far. Who yeah. will be the big name headliner? Oh uh, man. Well, see, this is tough because you've the, the, this has been going on. You do this with yeah. other people, yeah. And so the Zeppelin's already been taken. Yeah. You know, all the big ones have already been taken. Sorry. So I'm going with an offshoot of one of the big ones, of all the big ones, and Traveling Wilburys. Good call. Why yeah. the Traveling Wilburys? Because. It's five dudes from the best part of rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom Petty will already be on site. So right, it's so it's easy. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. It just worked out. So yeah. you're, you're a big, big lover of the Traveling Wilburys work and, and what they've done. I just love rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> uh, Ronnie from The Killers. And also, more importantly, uh, Big Talk. The album is out in a couple of weeks' time. The single Getaways is out on Monday. Yeah. Ronnie Fanucci, thank you so, so much. Thanks for having me, man. <laughs>